So lately, everybody's been very curious about Pablo Barncat and how he's doing. He's currently been on the injured list and living indoors, recovering from a bladder infection. And by the way, thanks to Frisco by Chewy for sponsoring today's video. So let's go check on our little buddy. Hey, Pablo, buddy, how's it going? Yeah, this is Pablo's attic loft space. He's been living up here for over a month, but Allison and I have also been trying to bring him downstairs more and more in an attempt to make him a house cat. And I actually wanted to talk to you guys today about how that experiment's going. Okay, Pablo house cat, and this goes for you too, little house cat. The good folks at Frisco by Chewy have sent us some packages. Okay, cats, let's see what we got. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Chewy, which is one of like the world's greatest online pet retailers, they have created their own brand of products and they're calling it Frisco by Chewy. And they have a wide variety of products that cats and dogs love that you can choose from. It's some high quality stuff and it can be the source of happiness for your pets. Particularly if you have a cranky barn cat who's stuck indoors on medical leave. And if I look at all the stuff that Chewy sent me, I think I have enough stuff to create my own kitty cafe. What do you think, little barn cat? Does that sound fun to you? Would you look at this, cats? We got quite the haul. What do you think, Lil? Pablo, don't eat my hand, man. Ow. Getting so aggressive, Pablo. Take it easy, kid. All right, let's get building. So first we have the Brunch Cafe Cat House and Scratcher. Pablo, stop beating up on Lil. Hey, you gotta be good, man. Lil doesn't like that, she's a fancy cat. Pablo, stop biting my ankle, man. What do you guys think? Pretty exciting, isn't it? I also have this pancake tunnel. It even comes with its own maple syrup. And then if you'd like, we have avocado. What do you think of this avocado here, Pablo? Ooh, yeah, you can take your aggression out on that. Hey, Lil, I also have this coffee roaster. Ooh, you like that. I even have this special latte gift set. Lil's going to town on the avocado. <laughs> now Pablo took the avocado. Ooh, they're liking those a lot. Ooh, Lil likes the gift set a lot. But now who's gonna be the brave kitty who gets to try the cafe first? I mean, look at little Lil there. She is just having a wonderful time playing with her latte toy. <laughs> I mean, you'll notice here, Pablo has gotten really into attacking ankles. So maybe these toys will help him keep distracted. Hey, little one. It's okay, yeah. You're starting to let me pet you more, yeah. Good girl. Uh-oh. Mama's a little concerned about my presence. <laughs> Uncle Kurt is like, what are you doing? It's okay, little one. Oh, you getting a drink from Mom? Okay. You just want a scratch, buddy? Or you want a biscuit? Yeah, look at her. So our little girl calf is getting a nice drink here. She's been doing really good so far. 
<laughs> you giving your mom a nudge? Don't you try to give me a nudge there, buddy. I won't like that the least bit. And none of our other gals have dropped yet, but they're all still looking very, very pregnant. So only time will tell when we get a couple more calves. I'm hoping we get it while well, we got this good weather going right now. It's like 60 degrees right now. Perfect weather to have a calf born. I think next week it's gonna be back to 20s and snow and sleet and just grossness, which is not a good time to have a calf born. So let's see how things turn out. Hey, Uncle Buck. What's going on, buddy? We don't usually see you outside the hoop coop. Good to see you. Oof, it is muddy. We're in desperate need of some wood chips very soon out here. Come on, Abigail. Hey, Toby Dog. You want to come uh, get eggs with us? Oh, man, how did that goose get in here? I mean, I know the chickens are sneaky and they'll jump a thing, but clearly the goose snuck in here and dropped this egg. Abby, this egg is not for you. Oh, look at them muddy paws. <laughs> it's gross right now. Ugh, this is like two feet of snow just melting in the span of about 24 hours. It's disgusting. Isn't that right, Abigail? Huh. Still got some chickens inside. How's it going there, girls? We need any more goose eggs. Got a chicken egg. Got another chicken egg. Ooh, that one's fresh. You're still doing the work. <laughs> or not. It's another half dozen eggs. This was the second collection of the day. So that makes for actually, oop. Actually, this one, there's one right down here. That's seven. So that makes 14 chicken eggs on the day and six goose eggs. So we are kind of in full egg production swing right now. For those of you guys wondering about the state of the hoop coop ever since it's big rip the other day, um, it's hanging in there. I've actually got it like clamped together to try to avoid any larger spreading of it. It doesn't make it weatherproof, and so we will get water, we will get snow in this area here, but it keeps it from ripping further, and I just need to, I don't know, make it to May, and then I'll start letting all the birds free range again, and so I won't need this, and the chickens are gonna move to their summer accommodations. So we're just kinda hanging in there. Oh, look at this little good girl. Yeah, you're being a good girl. No other behavior issues with Abby ever since our incident where we lost Blanche the chicken. She really has been a very good girl. Her training has been going really well. Other than that one stupid mistake, which was my fault, she's been doing really well. Whew. It's warm in here, Abby. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be in here on a day like today. I don't know, maybe you do. <laughs> Aw, come on, girl. This is definitely the grossest time of year on our farm. Six weeks from now, this will look green and beautiful pretty much everywhere. Right now, it's just slush and mud, and it's gross. <laughs> hey, Molly Murder Mittens. Hey, Molly Molly girl. So, I've got kind of a dilemma on what to do with Pablo barn cat. Do I let him go back outside and be an outdoor barn cat, or do I try to keep him inside and convert him like I did with Lil? And I don't know if you guys picked up on it back inside when the cats were playing with the toys from Frisco by Chewy, who is sponsoring this video, by the way. You know, when it comes down to it with Pablo, I think he's destined to be an outdoor cat. He just is not happy right now. He is destructive around the house. He's constantly scratching and biting me. He's constantly scratching and biting Allison. He's getting into fights with Lil. I think it's got a lot to do with the fact that he's just bored and unhappy. And so what the plan is gonna be is actually tonight, we're gonna let him go free. We're gonna be making some changes to the feeding habits of all the barn cats, including Molly and Ginny, where I'm gonna be switching them over to the special food that Pablo's been getting for his uh, kidney stones, or bladder stones, I should say. And so yeah, we're gonna release him and he'll be back here with these gals, which I think is the best for everybody. It's the best for my wife and me, it's best for the farm, it's best for Pablo, so I think it makes the most sense. Would you look at those two lazy dogs just lying on the porch? <laughs> They look pretty happy out here. Everybody's looking pretty happy out here. The ducks are in their perfect habitat. They're enjoying it. They got the pond going. They're going through all the mud. The geese have grass to munch on. Barely any grass to munch on, but grass to munch on nonetheless. Things are good. And the bees, well, I should probably talk to you guys about the bees in a future video. Hello, cobra chickens.
Okay, Pablo, you ready for your freedom? There you go. Say hi to Molly. You remember Molly? Hey, Miles. How's it going? Hey, Pablo. What are you looking at, Pablo? Oh, you remember Ginny? You and Ginny were pals. You guys remember each other? Ginny, you remember Pablo, don't you? Okay. I know. All three cats are hungry. Okay, we're feeding all three cats. And Molly and Ginny, this is going to be new and different food for you. Pablo, where are you going, man? Uh, he wants to go off and explore. Get back to the farm, I think. Meanwhile, I think Ginny's the only one who enjoys this new medical cat food. Molly is rather disinterested. Be free, Pablo Barncat, be free. Thanks again to Frisco by Chewy for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to click the link down below or go to Chewy.com.